Good day, Vikings. This is Miss Leva, counselor at North Salinas High School. Today's module is calculating your GPA. A few things about your GPA. A GPA represents the average value of the grades you've earned at North Salinas High School. The minimum GPA for high school graduation is a 2.0 or mostly C grades. When you earn mostly C, D, and F grades, your GPA can fall below the 2.0. At that time, you are considered off track for graduation. It's important to keep your GPA at a 2.2 or above at all times. How do you calculate a GPA? Each grade has a points value. You can see here that an A is worth four points, a B is worth three points, consecutively down to F that is worth zero points. To calculate your GPA, you add up your grade points. So if you have two A's or two B's or two C's, you add up the value of these points. Divide that by the number of classes you are taking, which at North Salinas High School is six courses. In other words, if you add up the total grade points and divide that by the number of classes you are taking, that will give you a GPA. Let's look at some examples. In this first example, this student earned all C grades. And as I mentioned, a 2.0 is an average of C grades. This is highlighted here for you in this example. Example number two is very similar. This student on average has a 2.0 because they earned C, D, sorry, D and B grades. Example number three shows you a student who is doing solid work, earning mostly A's and B's and having a 3.3 GPA. Here are some additional examples. Example number four shows you how even though on the surface, these look like decent grades, this student is still with a relatively low GPA of a 2.16. They've passed all their courses. They even have an A and a B and a couple of C's. Again, it, this is an average of the value of the grades you earn. Example number five is really interesting because this student has technically passed all six of their classes, earned five credits for each class. However, because they earned all D's or mostly D's, the points value is so low that the GPA average or the GPA is a 1.0. This is very low GPA and the student would actually be a candidate for Mount Toro or Puente Alternative Schools to hit the reset button. They can improve their GPA and hopefully graduate on time uh, in May with their class. Example number six is very similar. Even though the student mostly passed all their classes, still the grades are so low that the GPA ends up being a 1.0. Again, another student who is a good candidate for alternative schools. Alternative schools are an opportunity for students to hit the reset button on their grades and credits and an opportunity for them get, to get back on track for graduation. A few more things about your GPA. If you take advanced placements, honors, or plus courses, this gives your GPA a bit of a boost in terms of your high school GPA and your GPA for college applications. If you have questions about your GPA, please email, text, or send a Google Hangout to your counselor. We'd be happy to spend some time with you reviewing your GPA and what it means. Thank you Vikings. Have a great day.